A simple task, but an exhausting one for Bushra Bibi. This Pakistani mother sold one of her kidneys for $1,000 to pay for her father's medical treatment. He passed away, but 12 years later, she's still paying the price for her decision. I have many problems now. You saw me washing the dishes. I even struggled to sweep. People talk about me when I haven't done my work, but I don't tell them my secret. I gave birth to five children. I was in so much pain. Everyone knows the difficulties women face in the last months of pregnancy. Bushra's story is a common one in this part of rural Punjab, where many see this practice as a way out of poverty. Pakistan has long been a hub for the illegal kidney trade, benefiting both rich locals and foreigners. For many years, authorities were lenient, but that may be changing. In April, federal agents raided an illegal surgery. They arrested two doctors, their assistants, two Omani nationals receiving the organs, and the middleman who arranged the transaction. By this raid, we, will, uh, we would like to send a strong message to abroad that uh, Pakistani place and uh, hospitals will no, uh, will, never, will no further be the safe havens for transplantation illegally. Organ transplant is a sensitive issue in Pakistan, both for cultural and religious reasons, and there is no such thing as a transplant list. The law permits donations within a family or from outside only if it's given completely voluntarily and for free. But once there is consent, it's impossible to control whether money was exchanged or not. Uncle aunt, they don't want to give. Their daughter or son, they don't want, their cousins don't want to give, donate any organ. Where will that patient, even if he is rich or he is a poor, will with that patient go? What does the Pakistan government of Pakistan is pr providing them for any relief? We, d we does not provide any relief to that patient till date. Then how can we expect that we will overcome this illegal trade? Renal failure affects some 25,000 people each year in Pakistan. Only 10% of these patients undergo dialysis, and just over 2% receive a transplant officially. And as long as the transplant procedure remains complex, poor Pakistanis look set to continue selling their organs to meet demand.